Buried deep beneath the sand and silt, a 15th century trading vessel that once sailed the North and Baltic seas. This animation shows how archaeologists used a specially constructed metal frame and straps to act as a harness. It's rare to find a medieval vessel so remarkably well preserved. Even the brick oven and glazed tiles on the rear deck are still intact. Experts say the metal joints make her more robust than most ships of the same era and meant they could use a remote control to slowly bring her to the surface. Once we lifted it enough to measure the final weight of the cog, which was 40 tons, then we knew that we had a stable situation and could carry on lifting. The delicate wreck has been called Eiselkoche, after this river delta where she lay undiscovered for 500 years. Eiselkoche has been taken to a heritage centre where she'll be restored to her ancient glory and kept wet at all times to ensure she never crumbles. Anna Holligan, BBC News. Buried deep beneath the sand and silt, a 15th century trading vessel that once sailed the North and Baltic seas. This animation shows how archaeologists used a specially constructed metal frame and straps to act as a harness. It's rare to find a medieval vessel so remarkably well preserved. Even the brick oven and glazed tiles on the rear deck are still intact. Experts say the metal joints make her more robust than most ships of the same era and meant they could use a remote control to slowly bring her to the surface. Once we lifted it enough to measure the final weight of the cog, which was 40 tons, then we knew that we had a stable situation and could carry on lifting. The delicate wreck has been called Eiselkoche, after this river delta where she lay undiscovered for 500 years. Eiselkoche has been taken to a heritage centre where she'll be restored to her ancient glory and kept wet at all times to ensure she never crumbles. Anna Holligan, BBC News.